I used to be on the track team, but after failing tryouts in grade eight, I gave up. And now at 30, I'm finally reconnecting with that little girl. This process started all because I heard myself say, I'm not a runner. Since the best way to start something is to start, I started. So regardless of my mood, the time of day, the temperature outside, as long as it was a run day, I was out there. And over time, running became easier. 1K, 2K, my first 5K. 5K. We did it. We did it. But with the easy came the hard. My heart's pounding. That's something I've become aware of. How much am I exercising my heart, allowing it to beat and pump faster, recover, and then do it all over again? Heart health is life health. Apparently, I've been wearing shoes a half size too small my entire life. Got an upgrade, and now my toes are singing. I'm not actually going anywhere, so. Thanks to this book, I learned about nose breathing while doing cardio, how it helps you utilize oxygen more efficiently, and so as a result, you end up running longer and faster without needing to gasp for air. So I started running with my mouth shut. I guess I stressed my body out too much because after a while, I started injuring myself. It hurts to stand straight. And at this point, I'm really restless. I, I have all this extra energy, so I'm just stretching and um, hoping that it all fixes itself pretty soon. When I look at my run performance, I'm actually really impressed because in September, I ran 16 out of 30 days. And then I started injuring myself. I switched a little bit to swimming. So all in all, I ran about 30% of the time in the last six months. For a beginner, I think that's a pretty decent baseline. Let's see where we go from here. I also learned that strength training during running is key. You gotta work on building the glute muscles so that your knees don't take all of the pressure of thick quads. And that's thick with two C's. <laughs> I, I got them thick quads. Um, yep. Now my routine looks a little bit like this. I cycle through strength training days, mobility stretches, and run days. At first I was just rewarding myself for getting out there, but now I wanna start tracking distance and pace. Hmm, the highlight of this run journey was this one day where this kid teenager came up to me and he said, hey, wanna race? Hells yes, I wanna race. So we raced, I crushed him. It just felt so invincible, so free. I will definitely continue running as part of my overall cardio routine, but I'm gonna be adding glute and core strengthening exercises, running drills, and long stretches so that I do not injure myself going forward. And that, my friends, is running at 30. I will see you in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha!